One of the cool things about Shunk is these guys are a master machine shop. Crazy engineers, crazy designs, crazy products. And at the end of the day, it all comes down to machining. They machine their own products in-house. We're gonna basically get a behind the scenes look to see exactly how they do it. We're gonna see how their machines are set up. We're gonna see how they manufacture their parts and we're gonna bring it all to you guys. And we're gonna check out all of those processes today. Manufacturing at Shunk, let's go, boom. Last year, I toured the Manion facility where Shunk machines their work holding products. This was literally one of the most state-of-the-art facilities I'd ever seen. And now we're at Shunk's Housen facility. This is where they create their automation and gripping technology. Manufacturing is Shunk, and it's a family-owned business. Let's go. Boom. Oh, man, Johannes. How are you, brother? Doing good, man. Thanks. We are in Hausen, Germany at Schunk. What an incredible facility and thank you so much for having me, man. Great honor to have you, thank you. Awesome, man. This guy right here, high level, and how old are you? 36. 36, you, you're COO and CSO? Exactly, yes. That's crazy, and, and you're so young. Like, well, how, yeah. do, how does that happen? Well, good question. Well, we have a great team here at Chunk, and I was able to grow within manufacturing and step by step, now taking together with the team, and it's the most important part, taking yeah, responsibility incredible. for the organization. Yeah, yes. yeah. I, I loved it when we were talking earlier, and we were talking about kind of like how it happened, and you yeah. said you came from college, you came here, and you started making products, and you started making products and innovating, and then using Chunk products to make those products so you learned all the shunk products while innovating to make new products and like that was your start and then you're just probably just solving problems exactly along the way and uh, as you said it was a great start starting in manufacturing really knowing the core competence of this company which is 100% dedicated to manufacturing while using shunk products to manufacture other components at the very highest level you can highest use. level yeah. when you when it comes down to it this is a monster CNC machine shop. It's what our viewers do and what they strive to do is make incredible, precise, perfect parts. And you guys have to make it so precise because the work holding that allows other people to make perfect parts that work holding has to be even more perfect, right? Exactly, challenge accepted. So that's what we're doing every day and night here. We have alone in this facility 550 people working in the machine shop making sure exactly what you're saying, that we deliver at the highest level, highest quality, highest sustainability. That's awesome. And so you have 550 people here. Over here, exactly. And then Shunk in general has 3,700 employees. Right. right. Crazy. So here we have Isabel. Isabel is basically running, if you see all of that, running with her team, all those 15 hellers. Isabel is working with us for eight years and she's really managing that all the hellers are 24 seven making chips and doing a very, very great job. Do you have any advice for the women out there that maybe they don't know about manufacturing, that it's even a thing that they could actually do? Do you have any advice for uh, young girls or women about coming into manufacturing? It's very important that women work in this job. Yeah. And I think now we have so many uh, things to help for the women and we have strong boys that yeah. can help the women and awesome. I think it's a great job. You started in a different industry? Yes, yes. Okay, and then you just apply for a job yes. with Sean? For, for eight years I come. Eight to... years? Yes. Nice. Great job. Thank you. I'm on this lift right here. We're gonna actually go up above this whole Heller cell right here. Basically a crazy Heller cell right here. So on the back side, you got Hellers. On that side, then you got all the pallet systems lined up. Then over here, we got Hellers and more Hellers over here. And then more on the other side. So this entire place right here is just Heller CNC machines that are just running 24 seven, literally every single day, they never stop and they're just making crazy components. The quality is exceptional. One of the cool things, like I'll just say, one, one of the things that I love about coming to facilities like this is they're, they're on such a high level when it comes to CNC machining. If they're building the vices and the work components and everything has to be absolutely perfect so that you guys can actually make perfect parts, then they must have their processes like lined up perfectly. They've spent decades to learn how to manufacture and how to do it on a high level. So it's really cool and it's a treat for you guys that we can actually come into these facilities 
and we can actually show you how they do it so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can just look at what they do, you can implement it in your own shops, take the good, throw out the bad, if there's bad, and then, or just look at what you could afford and take it as levels to basically implement into your own shop to take your processes to the highest level and you just get better and better over time. So that's what we're doing, man. We're making manufacturing famous. We're making CNC machining famous worldwide and we're teaching you high level processes and techniques to implement in your own shop so you guys can make money to put food on your own table. Boom. When you actually look at all of these machines right here, you just see everything completely automated and then you'll see an employee. So that just makes you think like how big this place really is. Awesome. See this guy over here changing his pallets? Pretty sick little pen. So you got like the Vera S pen. You basically can put those things on any fixture, on anything inside a part and actually lock the part through the Vero S system as far as like right here, we're dealing with a tombstone style. So basically whatever your mind can think of, you can actually do. And it's cool that these guys are making Vero S systems and then they use their own system to make their own parts. One of the cool things that I love about Shunk is that they're a monster machine shop. We all know the engineering behind the crazy vices, best vices in the world. But to machine those vices absolutely perfect, you have to be a great machine shop, machinist, you know? So that's the cool thing about Sean. So Johannes, so I, I see all of these machines over here, yeah. and then you have a lone worker right here, yeah. and he's just loading pallets. And what, what else does he do? He does inspection on the parts and different things? Exactly, so he's unloading, loading the pallets, he does he does the inspection and basically makes sure all the 15 hellers are running 24 7. 15 hellers in this one cell. 15 hellers in this one cell, exactly. Awesome. Yes. So that is our newest baby. So we have a huge pallet handling system where we have our clamping technology on there. We have six hellers, five axes, as well as four axis horizontal machines linked to that manufacturing system. And that is how we how we make very, very productive a huge variety of parts, right? Because we are running, I don't I would say more than uh, 800 CNC programs on those six machines, making sure the machines are running 24 seven and making chips. So you can see the robot right now inside. It basically put in the pallet and then it'll grab another pallet and basically it's just loading all the different hellers on both sides of this whole system right here. That is what we're doing. So the guys are taking in raw material. We have one thread in there. That's how we bolt it onto the pallet. And what you get out of it is that kind of Piece it and gripper, that's what we call a three chalk gripper to use for handling centric parts, loading, unloading, uh, laces, and all of that raw material in, finish good out. And then we have one OP20 to get the backside of the part, and that's it, right? Two operations, and the part is done. Tobias Holz, he's uh, one of the team leaders we have in manufacturing awesome. part with Chunk for 31 years. So what you're seeing here is that we use within Shang, we use Shang products to manufacture Shang products. So you see everything from work holding technology, zero clamping technology on the machine table. You see in the spindle there's tool holding technology from Shang. And in front of the machine tool, you see different kind of automation and gripping technologies to let the machine run 24 seven and simply making chips all, all the day. What is this thing like? Oh, look at this thing. This is probably like, Maybe like 25, 30 feet high. Yeah, it must be something, something like that. Something yes. like that. And it's it's all shunk inside. Are you guys using most of your tooling? Like of shunk tooling? Of course. Everything? Yeah, that's our purpose, right? Yeah. Making sure that we run factory with all components. Yeah, that's awesome. So we have around 100 uh, CNC machines. I would say 85% of them are fully automated, either with a bar feeder or with a robot, no matter what kind of automation, different kind of automation, right. depending on the technology we are running. Awesome. And then it's automation running automation. Basically the components that you're making is for automation and you use your own components to actually make those parts. Exactly. And we get the guys from R&D coming here, seeing how we manufacture the yeah. parts and making sure we're developing the right product to make sure they're sustainable in the environment of machining with all the chips, with the coolant. Everything needs to be very, you know, industry specific to make sure we can run those processes over years. Why did you guys choose Heller? I think that is a very, very capable 
a machine building company. There's a lot of trust we've built with Hell over the years. Yeah. The technology is great. We have the four axis horizontal machining we can get from Hell. We have the five axis machining we all link together in one uh, flexible manufacturing system. And that is really what makes us uh, bulletproof for the future. Awesome. So what you are seeing over here is that we are machining the gripper housings on the hellers and we are doing the jaws for the grippers on the Chirons. So that's what we're seeing over here. Awesome. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Alright. Hi. So those two guys are basically Hello. running that department over here. We are seeing here that we get the preformed raw materials for our base jaws for the grippers and that is the final result. And coming from raw material to the, to the finished machine part, we see a feeding system, we see different ways of loading, unloading, and then we have a double spindle process. For those parts, the most efficient version or machining technology to manufacture them 24-7. So we have two spindles working on a, on a pallet which shifts 180 degrees, so the loading is done while the machine is machining, and that's the way we manufacture those uh, base jaws for the grippers. Awesome. And what we're seeing over here, is a machine where you have different ways of loading. So we have the ability to have the workpiece loading with the conveyor or linear axis. You have the capability to have it bar fed. And then of course, within the machine, we see the rotational work holding from shank on both sides. And we, in this case, we are doing for our grippers. How long are you already with shank? I work here one year. I make one my year? training here three years. Oh, nice. On this come um, on Shum. Yes, uh, one year I'm here. Congratulations, man. And they already got you on the big machine. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So that is the high yeah. level of education we're giving to our yes. young kids. So that after one year or three years of training, of you know, course, one year within this department, they're able to be in front of our most valuable machines we have. Yeah. They show me slowly how I am start the machine. Now one year later, I can work myself. Awesome. And those guys get creative, right? Yeah. So if you don't know how to get the parts out of the machine, they use a tool holder with a cup though. They use a gripper in front, which is actuated with a coolant. And then they have 3D printed, um, I don't know, kind of a pocket where you get the part out of the spindle. Nice. So those guys are very creative in doing what yeah. they're doing. Very nice. I love, I love that, that you see 3D printing entering the workplace now. A lot of people are scared and saying, oh, 3D printing is going to replace the CNC, but the CNC is so fast. Yeah. 3D printing is getting faster, but there's so many different applications when it comes to like setups like this, where you can 3D print special ways to grab crazy parts yeah. and actually hook them to your shunk grippers. Of course. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. It makes it more productive, right? Yeah. It's not against machining, it's making it more productive at the front end. Absolutely. So so your machinists and programmers just have the ability to just look at a, a problem and then just design something, go print it out, and then exactly. just, yeah. Super to go. good. Exactly. Awesome, man. Yeah. Super good. How are you? Fine. You what, what, is, what is your name? Simon. Simon. Simon? Yeah. Awesome, man. How long have you been working at Shunk? Two years. Do you love it? I love it. Yes. Yeah, you take raw material, make a finished part. Yeah. Yeah? It's and nice. then and then it makes crazy components and they ship out all over the world. Yeah. If you're not making chips, you're not making money. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. If the spindle ain't turning, you ain't earning. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Awesome, man. Machinists worldwide, we're all the same and we're all brothers, man. Boom. Nice to meet What's you. What's up, brother? Hi. Yeah, hi. So you guys are using the magnets in like kind of a reverse. Exactly. Yeah. Like the, the magnets that you tested with yeah, the, yeah. Uh, we're using it for gripping the parts. Nice. So People can already buy this from you? Yes, or? of course, yeah. Awesome. And it's based on the same technology as you have the, the Magnus yeah, on the for table. the machine tools. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. That's why we're seeing those walls are getting closer yeah. to each other, right? We're using the same technologies for automation as well as for workpiece handling nice. and tripping. What we're looking for is, again, making our machine tools more productive. So there are a lot of deburring processes where you're currently handling within the machine tool. But those deburring processes do not need any kind of highly sophisticated a uh, very stiff and high um, RPM spindle. So we are taking those processes out of the machine tool and doing it with the, with the robot. In this case, um, bringing a chamfer to, to a gear. Again, making machine tools more productive by pulling out the processes out of the machine tool which are not needed with this high stiffness of machine. Yeah. So cool thing what we're doing, from those nine mills over there, we're not carrying the chips with a trolley to the 
to the bin, we are kind of crashing those chips right after the machining. Then we mix it with fluid, we pump it over here, then we are um, drying them, we are filtering them. All the chips are coming through that pipe from nine machines. They get filtered in here in two to three different steps. Then the liquid, the coolant for the machine tools is pumped right back to the machine. And the result, we have chips which are fully dry, right? Woo, chip money, chip money. As a machine shop owner, like there was times when the economy went down where I lived off the money from chips. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Like yeah. just running so much titanium and getting, getting paid pretty good. And worn out carbide tools probably, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so now we are entering the new facility, right? So we doubled manufacturing space back in 2019. Now we're having uh, 25,000 square meters, so 270,000 square feet where we manufacture our parts now. And you can feel that, right? So now the humidity is gone, now the temperature is, uh, is uh, controlled because that's the grinding department. So we're now going to see some megalies over here, um, where we finally building the quality or manufacturing the quality of our product. You want to make sure that a gripper is lasting for more than 30 to 40 million cycles. And you can only achieve that if the guidance of the gripper is very, very accurate. So we talk migrants, we talk single digit migrants, and you can only achieve that in a, in a manufacturing environment, which is uh, temperature controlled, where you have the highest quality level machining. And that's what we're gonna see over here. So let's take that Magli MSP. Hey, this is Berg. Nice to meet you, Berg. So Berg basically started with Shung when he was 15 years old, doing wow. his apprenticeship program with yeah. Shung. And uh, since finishing the apprenticeship program, he now is within another eight years working on the grinding department, making sure we are manufacturing our parts at the highest quality. So here we're doing the serration grinding of those pistons, and we're doing this on a, on a Megale flat grinding machine. You can see over here, of course, we use magnet technology to hold the work holding technology down to the machining table. And then what is really special about this process is that we are doing the cut within one, um, one cycle. So there are not a different cycles of grinding, so it's one cycle, the whole serration. And there you go, with three parts finished. It's beautiful. Awesome, man. Thank nice you. to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Now you'll be in one of the videos now. Yes. Now you're gonna I be hope, in the I video. Hope, I hope I can see That's me it. myself on YouTube I or know. Instagram. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna be on there, man. <laughs> thank All you, right, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Over here in your grinding uh, department. I just wanna take a quick second and, uh, I mean, you guys are huge with education. Yes. So when it comes to like apprentices, how many do you have in your facility? In this facility, we have around 80. And okay. globally, it's more than 150 each year. Each year? Yes. Awesome. Yes. So a lot of the guys that we've already seen and talked to yep. today, they came from your apprentice program. So you train your own. Exactly. So that's the number one channel, how we educate our own people and bring them into the shop. Yes. Awesome. What if somebody has already, uh, they've been here for 10 years, but they want to learn something more advanced? Do you guys train them also? Exactly. You know, like if somebody's like working on one department and they want to get over here on the the grinders or something, would they be able to train here or do they have to go somewhere else to train? No, most of that training has been done on the actual process, okay. but you also take trainings at the machine tool companies and of course the Titans of CNC, right? Awesome, awesome, yes. man. We get free education because of our great partners, which of course, Shunk is an awesome partner for years and years, helping us give free education to you guys out there. And um, I just love how you guys not only are helping with education all over the world, but you really like train your own right here. So super yeah. awesome. Now, now we're entering from the grinding department to the department, which is really giving us the heartbeat. So that's logistics department. And what you're seeing over here is really making sure that we are able to deliver our components, get the order today, deliver it the same day. So we have goods to person, fully automatic driven warehousing. Let's go up there and see how it works. Oh, dang. Robots. See that? So those are small robots. They're sitting on top of the rack and they're kind of digging out the goods we're asking them to deliver to the person which is then packing the packages. And that's a chaotic way of, uh, of storing those products. You see all of those boxes and then all of those robots are controlled with a central uh, control unit. And they're, again, they're simply digging out the boxes we are asking them to dig out. 
making our people being very, very productive, shipping what the customers are requesting at the same day. I'm head of logistics and this outer store is the heart of Schung Logistics Hausen. It's the basis that we pick up parts for our customer jobs and send it out to the customer on the same day in only a few hours. So we are Super really efficient. quick and really fast because yeah. of this really great machine. Now we have it to, since 2019, five years we work with it and got really good experiences. That's awesome. One box is limited to 30 kilos, okay. but we've got 20,356 of these boxes. Okay. So we can divide it divide to different it. boxes. And here you see 24,000 different parts. Mm -hmm. And we've got single parts, we've got finished parts. We've got up to eight different parts in one box. It's demanded on the, the size and the weight of the part. Okay. And so if you went to a different facility that had more like chucks and stuff, then the weight would be extreme. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's depending on what you do. I haven't actually seen one of these systems before. So you basically have the boxes, they're just each one is stacked exactly and then these guys just come down and grab they grab a box or what, what are they actually grabbing just the box inside the box or no no they're grabbing the whole box okay. and it's a chaotic way of storage so it's like at home the stuff you don't need is at the very bottom of the of the storage exactly dang it goes all the way down yeah. that's awesome so that is how the material is flowing, right? So we get it from uh, soft machining to grinding, then we bring it into the auto store storage system. And out of the auto store storage system, we run uh, an FTS, automated tray handling unit, which is then serving our assembly lines to, uh, of course, final assembly the components. And here you can see it running. We call him Oscar. So now Oscar got a job from logistics department to pick up some parts. That's what he's doing. So the, the parts are being assembled and they are quality checked 100% and then they are packaged. And after packaging, of course, someone has to bring them to the storage again. And that's what those are doing in this case. All right. All right. There it goes. Now he's delivering the parts. And then we have the conveyors and they lift those boxes up into the central storage system. Nice. So that was awesome. So you guys just uh, showed us how Oscar basically got a job, went, grabbed the uh, material, or whatever the product was, grabbed it, brought it back, and put it over here for one of your workers to uh, package the ship out. Yeah. So it's pretty much the same thing on the top, all the robots up there. They just say, oh, I want this, and then the robot grabs yeah. it. And then where does that come from? You see over there, they're they are kind of conveyor tunnels. Yeah. Those are the areas, you see that over here? So now he's, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's taking some parts out of the central storage system and then packing them together to, to ship them to a customer. Perfect. And the boxes, so there's a rotational unit underneath. There's one coming from the top. It comes down there. You know, it's robot 008 is bringing the part, in that case the box. And as soon as we are ready, right, he's changing. And then we are kind of assembling those parts and awesome. bring it to the assembly department. That's great. So let's, let's uh, see how we assemble those parts. All right, let's enter the hall where we finally assemble all of the products we're doing in the, in the housing plant. One of the last step or basically the last step we're doing is checking all of our components 100%. So within here, you see, you know, you see grippers are being assembled. They are lining up for getting tested. We have a fully automatic test system where we grab each of the grippers, where we do some leakage testing, where we do some um, laser marking to identify each of the gripper 100%. And then we store the quality data to each of the gripper, making sure whatever happens in his life, we're able to trace back what, of, what kind of uh, quality technical parameters he was uh, having when he, when he got finally assembled. And that machine is working, what you see here is the complexity to what it has to be designed for. So within, within the portfolio we do like huge grippers like the PZN380 for rotational parts. And at the same time within the same product family we have this small guy over here. And now you can imagine for the machine shop to machine these different kind of uh, parts, it's still, the same, it's still a three chalk gripper. But the machining is completely different if you go for such a small size of a gripper then you have to go for the huge one 
and we can go even smaller all the way down to this gripper oh, over here crazy. you know <laughs> you see that and you would probably and I 100% are not able to assemble this kind of yeah. grippers we have very very educated people over here assembling those small grippers wow so set Oscar's up is following us Oscar is doing his work, exactly. <laughs> so you want to see how we assemble one of yep. those grippers? Yeah, that's great. Right. Those things are going into that gripper. Making sure we are ensuring the gripping force. And now Marco, who is one of our experienced guys within the assembly department, is now assembling one of those Keyset and Plus 380s. Programming. Yeah, so those two guys, while well, you were asking where all the people are, right? They're <laughs> sitting in here, <laughs> nice. ma making sure that we have the highest efficient programming, Chico programming, all for, also for our Hello machines, SW machines. Marcus, how long are you with Shank? 35 years? 35. 35 years? Wow. And this guy is, is writing his own post -pro processor, so basically r setting up the whole uh, computer aided manufacturing chain at the final end to make us more productive in programming, programming at a very fast pace and um, using all the Shunk products, bringing into the simulation environment, then of course running those programs either on Hello machines or on Shiro machines, on SW machines. So that's that's what this guy is doing and he's working with Shunk for 35 years, awesome. being a true expert. Congratulations. In programming. <laughs> Love it, man. All right, now we're in the collab in Hausen and uh, this is Fabian. So Fabian is uh, Hi. Fabian is the head of the collabs we have internationally now 13 in a row and Fabian and his team are helping guys in manufacturing guys in small shops stepping into automation. So what they're doing is as you can see here so those are the pistons which are part of our pneumatic grippers and of course we have we have different sizes of them and of course at the moment they're unloaded out of the magic mach machines uh, manually. So Fabian and his team are applying new technologies to our manufacturing process we have in our own factories and then solving that problem. The main idea is that we give the customer the opportunity at the end that he can validate his own process with his own customer part here that when he then makes a decision to buy something already knows before he buys that the thing will work. And uh, we have everything here to test this. And we're doing this test day by day, getting customer parts and um, can test everything. So far we try to, to, to set everything up, how it stands at the customer place. But obviously we can only get this far without getting really to the customer application. But it's, most of the time it's enough that you really know, okay, this will work or this will not work. And we are honest, so if it's not work, we don't sell yeah. it. Awesome. Don't, because we like happy customers. Yeah, that's awesome. Great. When I look at machine shops and I'm like, you know, machine shops solve problems for other companies that need components and you guys solve problems for machine shops. Exactly. And, and a wise man always told me if you can solve people's problems, you will always be successful. And that's what you guys do right here. Exactly. Boom. Making sure our customers are productive. Super good, day. man. Love it. Thank Boom. you. Boom. Awesome.